Ida left so much destruction in its path, not just across the country, but here in New York City. And today the governor signed a major disaster declaration that would go straight to families. And Senator Schumer is calling on the passage of two bills that would address climate change and the city's infrastructure. Ida took over a dozen lives in New York, trapped people in their homes, flooded basements in city subway stations, and left tens of thousands of people without power, with Queens one of the hardest hit areas. I think it's absolutely devastating that a family lost a loved one because of a flood in their own home. That That is actually heart sickening to me. While President Biden approved an emergency declaration last week, today New York Governor Kathy Hochul signed a major disaster declaration saying additional federal assistance is needed in the state. She says Ida left behind $50 million in damage and the number keeps going up. This next one is all about the money. Temporary uh, housing assistance, food vouchers, uh, uh, rental. Right now they're in hotels and this will help reimburse for the hotel expenses. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer this Sunday also calling for more to be done, pushing for the passage of two bills. The first bill, the BIF bill, deals with resilience. It will allow us to build our subways and our roads and our bridges to better protect ourselves from future storms. The reconciliation bill deals with stopping global warming at the beginning. Within just two weeks, two storms, Henri and Ida broke rainfall records here in New York, crippling our roads, subway stations, and the city's infrastructure. Nearly a decade later, many, including the governor, are asking the question, how much more is New York prepared today than it was back in 2012 with Superstorm Sandy? I'm operating on the assumption that this could happen again in another 10 days. Are we prepared? The governor says the state needs an alert system in different languages and local leaders need to let the state know where the vulnerable counties are so engineers can get started in those areas right away. Senator Schumer saying if both bills are quickly passed, New York could get money by early next year to help the state build right away. We are going to have the money come much, much faster than it came before. And President Biden is expected to be in New York on Tuesday to visit the hardest hit areas. In Midtown Manhattan, Jennifer Bisram, News Nation.